Hi friends, it's Tori here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a Mario Party 9 wall that does not break your way. So first off, you're going to, hold on, my mouse is being weird, you're going to go to your wrap browser or whatever. You're going to download Wii GSC, customize me, you're going to go to this GBA top thread, you're going to scroll down, and where is it? Oops, oh sorry, this is the wrong thread. I'm dumb. You'll go to this entry here and download this one. Okay. So now that you have this, you're going to just extract this or wherever you have it safe. And then we'll, you know. And then just keep it safe for safekeeping right there. Okay. So you're gonna have to open WGSC. You're gonna go to open WDFS drive, and you're going to- Oh wait, sorry. My USB drive isn't plugged in. Make sure you have your USB drive with my brain and plugged in. So plug it in. Refresh drive list. And then you're gonna go to whatever drive library it is. You're going to go down to my brain and select your channel creation. It's going to say that the channel is blocked, so we're just gonna click OK. I'm gonna close this out. Oh, sorry, hold on. Wait, open it, open it again. I forgot to tell you to do something. We're gonna go to configure and select use local game list and save. Okay, so now we're gonna go to your program files, the x86 one, and go to Wii Day Wii, and then you're gonna go to block games XML, and we're going to edit this in a map. And scroll down to see Mario Party 9, you're gonna select every instance of it. And then you're going to delete. You're going to click File Save. And then you're going to go to Wii GSC again. And the reason why I told you to select um, the Use Local because it uses the this actual file to look at the online database that it has. Because in the online database it says you can't use Mario Party 9 for your thing. So we're going to open the drive letter again. And then we're going to go to Mario Party 9, which is on creation. Let it load. Okay. And you're gonna select your four that I choose. I can see Scalar GX. And then we're gonna create the channel. Alright, so now that it's created, we're gonna go to Okay. We're going to so go to WAD, you see channels right here. I'm just gonna cut and paste this to this other other WAD that I have. And then we're gonna go to custom paste P. Remember I, I think I told you to have it installed. Anyways, so we're gonna open this. We're going to go to source one, we're going to select the one that we just created, and then we're going to go select, okay, I'm um, sorry, I made a mistake, so we're going to clear this, wait, hold on, okay, so we're going to go to the um, one that we created, we're going to select it, we're going to go to Extract, D-O-L, and then we're just going to put it in this folder right here. Okay, and so, you're going to clear this, you're going to select the non-breaker Mario Party 9 mod, and then we're going to, so, oopsies, select new doll, I'm going to select browse, and you're going to load the doll file, and then we're going to select this file. Okay, and so we're going to create the lot, and then it's going to be right here. Okay, so this is created, and then you're going to, sorry, is it? there it is right here. And you're going to plug in your SD card. Sorry, I don't know, I'm done. Okay, and then you're going to plug it in. Just going to... Sorry, open it, and then you're going to drop your um, new wad right here. And let's switch over to the Wii. Okay, so now that I'm on the Wii now, I'm going to go ahead and insert my SD card.
and then we're gonna go to the homebrew channel and you're gonna load whatever um wand manager that you use i'm gonna go here this is the one that i used again another wand manager mod me edition and then you're just gonna select install okay you're gonna exit by the way, I should say you should have a NAND backup. I completely forgot to tell you that you need to have a NAND, you should have a NAND backup because you know dealing with something that is known for breaking your way. So you know, just for safekeeping, it's good to you know have a backup of NAND. And then here's the Mario Party Nine wallet, and then you're just gonna click Start, and it should go through. Give it a second to load. See, it's loading. Oh, I didn't plug in my my. Hold on. Make sure that you have your. <laughs> make sure you have your um. You know your, uh, thingy inside your USB drive. Let's try this one more time. Let it load. And if everything has gone to according to plan, it should work. Yeah. And see, there you go. The Mario Party 9 non-bricked wad. So, it's working as you can see. If there is any issues that you have, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to help you. Or I could just create the, the wad for you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys, um, like this tutorial, hope it helps out some people who are dying to have a Mario Party 9 wad forwarder. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!